In this video, I'm going to show you what to do if you have a broken laptop screen. I want to sh first show you what to do, how you can immediately start using your computer right now after the screen is broken. And then I want to show you later in the video how to actually replace the screen and, and actually replace it with a new screen. Surprisingly, it's a lot easier than you think. So don't downplay that you, you won't be able to do it because you will, even if you have a little bit of technical knowledge. It's not something where you actually have to replace and go inside the laptop and everything. It's really easy. So this video will help if you've got a Dell, HP, Lenovo, Asus, Acer. doesn't matter what kind of laptop you have. What you're going to do is connect your laptop to a desktop monitor or to a flat screen TV via the HDMI power or to a VGA power if it's older. Of course, you know what an HDMI port is. Right here shows the HDMI and you're going to connect your laptop up to the HDMI port. Older laptops uh, and computers and monitors will use a thing called VGA, and this is old school, this is like from 10 years ago, and some laptops will have the VGA to hook up to older monitors, and this particular one doesn't have it, but it'll usually be on the side that you can connect it to. So on most laptops, it actually has a function key to connect you to the monitor. So once you plug in your monitor to your laptop with the is you're just going to use the function key. In this particular Dell, it's the function 8, F key. You're going to hold down that, the function key and then hit F8 while it's plugged into your monitor, and then that should start recognizing a picture onto your monitor. Some laptops, I know like HP, you have to plug it up and actually shut down the computer or shut down the lid. That will automatically trigger the screen to be on the monitor. And then what you want to do, if you have to use the keyboard, you just open the lid back up while it's connected and start using your keyboard. Or preferably, if you have like an external keyboard that you could hook up to one of the USB ports and use that separate, that's better. Honestly, that may be a permanent solution for you if the laptop's old. You can just keep it hooked up to a monitor. Now to replace the screen on a laptop, yes, it's easier than you realize. Basically, screens look like this when they're taken out of the laptop, and they all have like a little model number on there. So the ribbon from the laptop is going to connect to the input onto your screen. Now, to purchase the screen on eBay, you can get them as low as 25 bucks to as high as 50 bucks, and usually they're used or sometimes they're brand new. But you just want to make sure you look in the description and make sure there's no dead pixels that you're getting a good screen because sometimes they'll sell them as parts and repair. Like I said, you can get them for like 25 to like 40 or 30 bucks, and they're pretty cheap, and they're super easy to install. So you see right here we have an HP Pavilion that's got a shattered screen, the power is on, and it doesn't matter if you have lines down your screen, it's pretty much all the same concept, or if you have cracks and you want to replace the screen. So I'm just showing you this for, for demonstration, but you want to power your laptop completely off, and then you want to take the battery out of the laptop. It's usually, of course, in the bottom. Some laptops, you actually have to turn it around, and the, lap the laptop battery is in the, uh, underneath the lid on the very bottom, or the bottom casing, and you just have to unscrew it. I highly recommend you just look on YouTube. It'll show you exactly where the laptop is for your, or the laptop battery is for your particular model. But this one's pretty easy. As you can see here, the battery just slides out of the bottom. There's just basically little grooves that you have to pop open. Now next what you want to do is take this plastic bezel off of your laptop. It's almost like the frame of a picture frame. And as you can see here, most of the screens will have little, little end buttons here on the corners right here. One, like one here, one here, one here, like a frame. And what you want to do is you want to pry open those little end caps that's that's covering the screens and I would highly recommend you just use like a a little s small flathead screwdriver you could use like a little butter knife and what you want to do is you want to take those end caps off of those four screens this particular HP does not have those end caps if they did what you're going to do as soon as you take the end caps off you're going to unscrew the screen or the you want to unscrew the screws on each four corners and like I have, I have like right here, I have like a little Phillips, and that's what it usually would be. You would take the end caps off. And then after you do that, now I'm going to gently pry the bezel off of the lid, exposing the screen. 
So as you can see here, I'm gently with a flathead screwdriver going down while holding one side down with my other hand as I'm going all the way down the three sides, the top, the left, and the right. And I gently work my way all the way around. And then after I get the three sides, then I'm going to work on the two hinges, the left and the right. So you'll have to sometimes just have to use your screwdriver to pry it open. And now you see here on the very bottom bezel, there's an adhesive here holding that to the actual screen, the metal part of the screen. So I just feel my way and work at that glue, that adhesive that's holding it on there. And you'll hear it like kind of pop. Just gently do it. Don't force anything too hard. And as you can see here, there's two hinges that's holding the left and the right. And now I'm going to pop open the hinge. And this bezel will pop open. This particular HP didn't have any end screws that was holding it on. Literally, it was just a piece of plastic that was popped on to the back of the lid. That's, of course, covering the screen. Now, most laptops have these two brackets, one on the left and then one on the right, that's holding the screen onto the lid. So every single visible screw, screw that you see on the top left, top right, on the sides, you're going to take them all out. If you accidentally take a screw that's not holding in the screen, not a big deal. Just get you like a little cup to collect all the screws. If there's any that are different, maybe get you two cups. So you can, you can see here on the left, I see like two screws here. I want to do the left, and then I want to do the right. There may be a screw here in the center. So you take the screws, if there's center screws here on the top center. Now some laptop screens will have screws that are holding the brackets in here on the side. So just turn the laptop over to the side and see if there's any screws going in like this. There's like two, three could be here and the two, three on the right side. So unscrew those as well. Now your lid might have some adhesive here, so you'll just have to gently take the adhesive off. And then I'm going to pull the lid down like this. Now, I showed you earlier, there's going to be a ribbon that's going to be attached to the screen. And so what you're going to do is take that tape off right here where the ribbon's holding on. So you might have to just use your fingernails and pull that tape off right here. It's possible you'll have a webcam that's hooked here. And the webcam is se separate, and usually there's going to be a ribbon that goes all the way around holding the webcam. You basically use the same principle to disconnect your webcam like you do as you, you do the ribbon. But it's pretty much common sense. See here that pulls off. And voila! That exposes the screen and you can just take the screen off. You! You! Come here! You! Yes! You! I need your help! Come here! You see this right here? This wall's empty. I need a YouTube play button. In order for me to get a YouTube play button, I need 100,000 subscribers. I got, what, 20, 30,000 right now? I need 100. I need you. Please, you, to subscribe. You think, my subscription doesn't help. Yes, it does. I need 100,000. I need. I visualize. I visualize what I want in this world. And what I want is a YouTube play button. I want a YouTube play button, and I need you to subscribe. You can help me. You can make your dreams come true. Just visualize it. Whatever you want in this world, you can have it. You can have all your dreams come true. I want you to help me make my dreams come true. All right? So please, please subscribe.